I'm Mohua Chakravarti Chaudhary and I'm a PhD in Molecular Biology and Bioinformatics. Presently, I'm a Masters of Public Health student at the Bloomberg School of Public Health Johns Hopkins University. And I also work as a policy researcher at the Indian Institute of Science and I'm associated as an honorary associate with Institute of Public Health back in India, where I continue to do my rare disease research work. So um, it started way back in 2017. After my PhD, I was looking into areas where I could uh, pivot to, to do a more meaningful, so societally relevant work. There, uh, I started eventually working on rare diseases. I met various patient organizations and parents who were driving the rare disease uh, sort of uh, momentum in India. And one of them were definitely Harsha. And since 2017, we have been kind of connected. I have seen Indo-US rare being uh, built in and you know to, to grow to where it is now. So yeah, definitely anything that is connected to Indo-US rare, I've always known, I've always been part of it. Of course, that I'd be really interested too because before coming here, uh, here I'm pursuing uh, health policy as a concentration and I look forward to learning policy skills and techniques. But I have been involved with the policy scene in India for the last four or five years. I was part of the Government of India's um, as a Science Technology Innovation Policy team where we worked on the uh, not only on the Science Technology Innovation Policy but other policies that relates to science and society. And as a part of that, I was also part of the European Union Parliament Visitor Program earlier this year where I had a Parliament, European Union Parliament visit for a good 10 days and I went to various uh, uh, units of European Union which works for rare diseases specifically. Um, and then back here recently I had been to the United Nations uh, 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 the high level meeting for rare diseases. So with all this, what I'm uh, having over the past few years is an experience of how various work goes into the policy decision making, how people advocate for policies and how policy connects back to the people. That entire circle of it is what I'm observing. And uh, what I see here is also happening because all these people, all this discussion happening here. Eventually, I see or rather I would like to see how it connects to that overarching policy making process and how it comes back to benefit these people who are starting the talk here. Yeah, I think that's a wonderful effort and also Indo-US Rare is uh, especially, uh, I would say, in uh, uniquely positioned in a way that uh, it caters both to the Indian diaspora here, elsewhere global as well, and back in India. So there have been experiences with uh, patients with rare diseases here feel disconnected because they they do not know what is the uh, you know prevalence in India and also because it's genetic most of the rare disease eighty percent are genetic disorders and there where you need to get back and know what is the disorder or what is the phenotype happening in your own community and when you are out of your country it becomes very difficult to get back and and especially in terms of rare diseases to find uh, patients who have similar kind of diseases to know from their experience what have their journey been. That becomes very important and it could be the phenotypic representation could be very different between populations and unless you are connected to your population it becomes very difficult and genotypic representation as well. So I think that is where it is very uniquely positioned and it should leverage its position. That is one way where it directly helps to the patient goes. And the other way is also that uh, in terms of workforce, Indians, uh, a lot of Indians are working here, having back collaboration back in India, or Indian academic research institutes are having collaboration here with the US. Many of the Indian, uh, you know, uh, industry and academicians are educated in India. <laughs> I am going to join that force. Are educated in US, goes back to India and work there, but they take back the connection there. So most of the people are very well connected, but I think in terms of rare disease, Indo-US rare becomes that kind of epicenter, which could provide link to these connections to find a meaning in terms of rare diseases. I would say um, everyone who is coming from their own you know, field of expertise to come up with certain, come 
look forward to this even looking forward to contribute in a way you know in what type of connections they want to tap in or what is uh, the one takeaway they want to take back for themselves and also contribute to the society as well in that what happens is like suppose uh, it is a entrepreneur who is trying to break into a market in india if comes up with you know the idea of to see how the market would be in india or what are the things could be done and these conferences could provide them with that kind of feedback or perspective of how things are and then based on their expertise we could actually you know help in developing policy guidelines which could help to fit in policy guidelines uh, in larger because this is essentially a stakeholder interaction happening and stakeholder interaction happening at a you know higher level where people from different parts are coming together so i think this this even could be uh, used as a stakeholder interaction platform from where we could generate ideas which could directly fit into policy i don't see why that couldn't happen and we could uh, like today also there were representative from government i think more representatives could be there i think it was uh, more of bringing together the different kind of people uh, for this summit and more so every aspect of rare diseases that was needed to be discussed starting from drug development to regulatory issues to policy issues to the clinical background to clinical trials to globalization of clinical trials centralized clinical trial to patient access i think there is no aspect that was left aside and stalwarts from every field were brought here were connected from academics to industry to i mean the diversity diversity is what you know kind of awed me here uh, it's just not diversity in terms of area of work it was also diversity in terms of uh, representation of different communities it's just not the indian community i have seen indians i have seen americans here i have seen representative from the black community here so different diversity i think that diversity is really important otherwise we'll be just talking about a very small nook here which didn't happen really it was more of a global talk which we really ha- uh, had here and we- whenever we spoke about lmic we did not spoke uh, speaking only in context of india it was larger lmics i think we were talking about so i think that diversity and inclusion was truly truly here